Here I'm going to show you how to change lob, the pattern lob that's in Patterns by Helen into a continuous pattern. So design sew quilt, start new, block pattern, enter rectangle manually. I'm going to make the width, uh, it's six inches already so that's good and it's three inches high, that's good. This is just design work so I really don't care what the size is but that looks good so continue. And there's my six by three inch block. I'm going to turn the grid on and I'm going to move the uh, block so it's right on the grid line. Now it's kind of hard to get that exactly on the line here so I'm going to turn snap on then when I move it it will snap to the grid intersections. Okay, finished. Now the pattern I'm looking for is lob and I know it's in Patterns by Helen so let's scoot right down there. Patterns by Helen. I'm going to touch L to get to the L's and we will find a plain old lob. Continue. And IQ has put lob in that 6x3 block. Um, I'm going to change the grid to half an inch. All right. So this pattern is not continuous, it's, an, it's not an open pattern, it's a closed pattern because the start and end points are right here. But it's sometimes nice to use this continuously to go across sashings um, or in borders or whatever. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to hit stretch, I'm going to anchor that point and I'm going to bring stretch, anchor this point, grab this one and bring it in a bit. All right. Finished. Now to make this continuous I'm going to add another line so that it will double stitch along this line of the pattern. So I'm going to add a pattern. Add pattern, block pattern, use current block, and I'm going to go into my building blocks catalog. You may find this pattern in your geometric catalog. This is the one we want, arc two. Continue. There's arc two. All I'm going to do is move the start so it snaps to the start end point here. I will touch stretch, touch the anchor point, the start point, grab the end point, until it snaps to the end point of lob and you can see it's right on top. So that's all I need to do. I'm going to hit finished. Now I need to combine those two patterns together. So combine patterns. Select the first pattern. Lob. Continue. Select the next pattern. Now it's kind of hard ooh, because it's right on top. I know I touched it because um, it's the message changed to select the next pattern to combine. So I know I touched the, the arc too. So I will touch continue. There's no more patterns to combine. I can see that lob starts here and arc two ends here, which is okay. So I hit finished. Now let's just double check. Let's touch modify pattern. And now you can see there's a start here and an end here, which will make lob continuous this point, go finished, finished, save a quilt pattern, save a pattern from the quilt, this, give it a new name, it's already got lob here so I would just go space and then shift, cont, cont is short for continuous, enter, and then put it where I want it, so let's go back down here, patterned by Helen, there, select. Ooh, now it says, do, we, do you want to overwrite lob cont? I've already got lob cont in there. I don't want to overwrite it, so I'm not even going to bother saving it. It's got taken me back so I can change the name, but I don't want to because I've already got it saved. So I'll just exit out. So that's an easy way that everybody can turn lob into a continuous pattern.